So if you're tired of the same old baked chicken, then this is going to become your new favorite weeknight chicken dinner. The thighs are cooked to juicy perfection and coated with a rich and delicious gravy made from pan drippings. So all that chicken flavor is being recycled back into the dish and no flavor is left behind. It's warm and cozy. You can serve it over some fluffy mashed potatoes, or if you want to go a little bit lighter, have it with some roasted veggies and salad. Uh, but truly, this is so easy and such a great recipe to have in your weeknight arsenal because it's really straightforward, but looks and tastes like it took all day. So let me take you through it step by step. So we're using bone-in chicken thighs for this recipe and I really like using bone-in because it helps to ensure that the meat stays nice and juicy while cooking. And as you can see, I'm trimming off a lot of the excess skin that's hanging over the sides because you really don't need it. There's also some extra fat in there that I trimmed off. We're blotting our chicken on both sides with a paper towel to remove any excess moisture. We want our chicken to be nice and dry so that the seasoning will better adhere to it. I'm drizzling in some neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use canola or grapeseed or vegetable even. Then we can add our seasonings into the mix and give your chicken a nice rub down. I like to really get in there and even get under the skin. And you wanna let this sit for at least 30 minutes if you can help it. But you know, if you're in a time crunch and you just really need to get this dinner on the table, then you can just go ahead and put it straight into the oven. You wanna place it in there first skin side down at 425 for about 20 minutes. And this will allow all the fat to render out from the skin and then we're gonna take it out of the oven and flip it so that it is now skin side up and we're gonna bake it at the same temperature for another 15 minutes and because now it's skin side up the skin will get nice and crispy so I'm chopping up some fresh parsley and this is really just to garnish the chicken at the end so if you don't have it no big deal you can also just use dried parsley but I'm also going to be using this for my garlic parmesan rolls so I'm just chopping it up right now now we're gonna take our chicken out of the oven and let it rest. You wanna make sure that it reaches an internal temperature of about 175. That's the temperature that I like to reach for bone and thighs. And while that is resting, we are going to make a very simple pan gravy. We're adding a little bit of butter, about three tablespoons, um, some flour, and we're gonna cook that off, then add in all that delicious pan dripping. And that right there is where we get all the flavor for our gravy. We're also adding in a little bit of minced garlic. And now we can go in with our chicken stock to loosen things up. Feel free to adjust the amount based on how thick your gravy is. And lastly, we're adding about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to give it a little bit of tang and brightness. Now just ladle that over your chicken before serving. And I'm telling you, this right here is just the perfect way to end the day. So however you choose to serve this and whatever sides you pick, um, it's going to be delicious. I went with some garlic Parmesan Hawaiian rolls and I have a separate recipe for that. I can link it for you in the description box below if you're interested. The full recipe will be available in the description box as well. And as always, they're all on my website. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to try this and let me know how it goes.